Hi guys, and thank you so much for watching as always. We are back with Kerbal Career Mode. Um, in today's episode, what we're trying to do is we're going to do some deep space science if we can. Um, we've got quite an elaborate craft up here. Um, I've just got into space. Um, I would apologise as well, there's been a couple of episodes that you won't have seen. Um, unfortunately, I can't actually get them rendered because the files have become corrupt. Um, basically, what was happening is every single time I try to render the video, uh, it gets to about 96% and then it crash um, Vegas Pro and it stopped rendering and then obviously that was two hours wasted and then I'd re-render again and then it'd crash again and then it's two hours another wait two hours wasted and then I tried transferring the files from my PC to my laptop using a, um, a 65 gig thumb drive that I've got transferred the files across um, and then the files became corrupt as they came across it, I don't know what the hell was going on uh, but literally all I've been doing in that time is um, traveling back to Mimbus in the month just getting more and more and more science just gradually getting the science up um, because I do have a point I want to get to um, in sense of science wise but this is going to be the next thing I'm not sure this is going to work actually to be fair uh, what I need to do I'm just going to do a, a very deep space jaunt so we're going to go far out and then hopefully return so we're going to set up a maneuver maneuver maneuver, maneuver. I'm going to go quite far out if we can Obviously, with the option of coming back, would be nice. Okay, so we could do this, I suppose. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to get back th from this. It should be interesting. I will be using Metjeb for this, by the way, so if you're against that, I do apologise, but tough titty. This is what I want to do. Um, tch -tch -tch. We're going to see how much fuel I can get out of this. But we're going to definitely go deep space and see if we can get back to Kerbin. I'm not sure how I do this. I'm, again, this is unknown territory for me now. I'm not sure I get to another planet. I was going to try and do a lap of uh, the sun and back. But I just don't think I've got the right makeup on this craft to do it. Um, it was like kind of a, one of those moments where I'm thinking, uh, sh what shall I do? What shall I do? Shall I do this? But then. Then I thought about the going around the sun, and I just haven't got the craft to actually do that. Um, this is not going to help. Well, it's not going to like make it to the sun and back. Um, it needs to use nuclear engines and what have you. I have got nuclear engines, but unfortunately they're not on this craft. I have called it the um, what did I call it? The Sun um, Explorer or something? I called it this craft. Um, but unfortunately, it's going to be deep space instead. There's nothing else we can really do, um, but I just need to get into deep space. I mean, this burn is so long. Um, we'll just see what happens. Uh, so what I'll do is, um, I think, if we should just like fast forward in post production, but I've not really had time to play around with that due, due to the faults I've been having with um, Vegas Pro. Um, I probably won't be able to just play around with it, but we'll see. But I just want to get this one video out at least. It's going to be a short, short video, just to show you exactly what I'm doing at the moment. Um, I want to get about, I need about 500 signs. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do a jump cut now, I'll just let this burn happen. Um, and I'll show you where we are, and then we'll get around the opposite side of the sun. And then we'll try and get ourselves back. That's going to be the issue. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you in two secs. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, just to um, give you a you know, an update. Uh, basically, I'm trying to move away from Kerbin as far as possible. I was kind of hoping to get into um, a meeting with Eve at some point, but that's not going to happen. That, that lots of things. Uh, sadly. Would have been pretty cool, actually. But I was going to try and see what the readings I get from out here are. I just want to get away from Kerbin. Which I should be doing quite quickly. I'm actually starting to think, would I actually catch up on Eve eventually? But no, because I've got this slow down which is too big we'll check it out anyway and see if I can come in a little bit closer to Eve so that would be nice to get some uh, signs from that <coughs> just see how this um, orbit takes us around now it should bring us in a lot closer because obviously we're travelling a lot further out I just don't think it's enough I mean we probably could go around a few times and maybe eventually we would actually get a nice encounter well not an encounter but get a close-ish approach. 
So I've got no idea how I'm going to get myself back now. I've just literally done this off the top of my head. I thought, oh, let's just go into deep space and see what happens. Well, it's not deep space, but... In the solar system. But we'll try and do. Actually, let's just pan this out. I'm just thinking one more lap. Uh, what I'll do is I'll jump cut. This is going to take forever. Let's just keep going round and round and round. I'll jump cut and then when I come back, hopefully we'll have some. Well, we'll have an idea of what I'm going to do. Okay, so we'll see you in two seconds. Okay, guys, welcome back. Okay, so I'm going to try some science out here and see what we get. Um, something else for it, really, is there? Materials Bay. We get 275 science. Sweet. Uh, mystery game. 110 science. Cool. Uh, let's try radiation. Uh, 220 signs, and I can actually transmit that for 220 signs. Oh, I'll do that. Thank you very much. If I'm able to, I should be able to. Yeah, I am. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna get the signs here now that I really need. Um, just need to get Jebediah home. That's the problem. So this could be an interesting pressure date. Is no good. I want to push data. What these? Uh, we want these. One of these scan radio waves. 220 signs for that as well, uh, and I can transmit it because obviously this is not a physical thing. It's just data in the sense of its information, so you can get the full signs back for that, which I do like actually about this mod. Um, what else did we have on board? Um, I don't think I have anything else really I could use. Scan radio waves again, and we'll get 20 signs. 20 signs, 20 signs at the end of the day. 20 signs for that as well. Transmit the data again. Just not waste. Um, what else do I have on this? Oh, I can take a picture. Take a photo. 38.5 signs. Oh, 30.8 signs. Should we keep it or should we send it back? Let's send it back. And there should be another camera on here somewhere. You can just see. My lighting needs to um have some work done on it. There should be another camera somewhere. Oh there it is. Take a photo. Uh thirty seven point four signs, but I'll get that equal, so let's transmit that as well. I'm getting loads of signs here, I'm actually quite sure for this. Um, I could do a crew port. Crew port. 55 signs, I can transmit that back as well. Let's transmit that back. Getting loads and loads and loads and loads of signs. Uh, what I'm going to do as well, um, um, I was just thinking that maybe you should do an EVA. I'm just worried if I do an EVA now and I fall out of the bloody thing and get lost in space. That could be a bit of a pain. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the craft around. Which might seem a bit odd, but I just want the light side of the sun to actually be facing where Jeb gets out. Because it might make life easier if I need to jump back inside. Because these kerbals have a habit flying off into space and then I can't control them. I'm, I'm really crap at EVA. Can I control it from there? Control from here. I want the camera to centre on that bit. That's not what big, is it? Um, let's just try it out anyway. I, I can't even do um, a quick save. So we do a quick save now. More crew data. Um, basically, what will happen is I'll be stuck here and I'm not sure if I can get back yet. So let's just do um, an EVA. Hopefully, he st stays on. Yeah, he did. EVA reports 88 signs and I get 88 to send it back. Transmit the data. Um, get back on board. Um, then I'm going to try and plan our way back now. Um, I'll probably end up using Mech Jeb um, because I've got no idea I'm going to do this. But also I've got no idea how I can... Because you can't target Kerbin. 
Oh, he can. Oh, right, okay. Um, can you Hoffman to target? Uh, Hoffman to target, even. Um, Hoffman to target. Did it work? I'm not sure, I'm not sure what's going to happen here. Oh, but well, we get um, an encounter up here. Okay, that's not too bad. Got a bit of fuel, still got a bit of fuel. I've got another tank here, which is a small tank inside there. Which is a little uh, poodle engine. No, it's not a poodle engine, it's one of the smaller engines anyway. Um, but if we can get back with all this, then... Oh, happy days, happy days. Um, for me, at the moment, in my knowledge of how to do this, I wouldn't be able to get back. I, I wouldn't know. I mean, I, I could possibly do it, but it would take me so long to try and work out how to get back. Um, basically, I just really want to get this science back now, so I can get um, Jebediah back home safe. So let's be honest, I'm not the best at this game. I'm not even close to being good at this game. I'm just your guy that kind of getting to know everything, getting to know all the bits and bobs. But hopefully with this, what will happen is I can unlock um, a part on the uh, tech tree that will allow me to get aid in docking. Because docking is something I've practiced and I've practiced and I've practiced and I'm really bad at it. I don't understand why I'm doing wrong, but I end up kind of circularizing around the... I'm just keep, I'm constantly fighting to actually get closer and closer to the object and it, it just doesn't seem to work. So I would like kind of Mech Jibs to show me exactly what I should be doing. I mean, I watch videos of like Scott Manley and things blah, blah, docking, but it's never really kind of clearly explained exactly what you're doing at the time. It's just like, oh yeah, do this, do that, do that. But it's never like, definely, you know, yeah. But anyway, I'm just waffling, but let's see what happens here anyway. Um, I'll jump cut now um, and we'll see the new when I come back. So I, I want to drag, I don't want to drag the video out too long and I want to keep it kind of short as can possibly. Uh, so I'll see you in two secs. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so after about 120 days, I think it was, of in-game fast forwarding, um, we're finally getting an approach to Kerbin, and I'm left to do some tweaking as we get there, obviously, because we're very, very high up. Um, Fuel-wise, we're not doing great, but we're not doing too bad. As long as I get into the sphere of influence as Kerbin, then I can actually uh, play with this now. And I'll probably do this manually, to be fair. I do like to do some things manually, obviously. But like this, this would I'm, I don't know how I would work this out myself. Sphere of influence, and then we'll just play around. Right. So, <clears throat> what we need to do now is basically we need to drag in our apple apps. Um, oh wait. So, we're dragging the apple apps by slowing ourselves down. Oh, bugger. Wrong button. See, this is why I let my job do a lot of things. Than that. Keep dragging ourselves in. We're a lot closer than that. Still a lot closer than that. Three thousand. That should probably do us. Um, it says five second burn, but it's definitely not going to be a five second burn. I can't see it being a five second burn. I'm not sure how that would work. Um, but again, I'll use my jab to just make sure this works because I really want to get this stuff home now. And the more and more I use this, again, it's not a cheat. It's just I'm using what astronauts would use an onboard computer um, because I can't make these burns exact the way you know um, the game want you to make it because some sometimes it, it kind of gives you this false information I mean it's an estimated burn five seconds I can't see that being a five second burn I mean possibly I don't know maybe but I can't take the risk 
because I can't lose all that science after. I mean, I've been at this now for about an hour, um, going around doing things. Um, and the thing I want to say as well is the um, oh, let me just find out what this does. What I was gonna say is I have made the burns to the out the outer regions myself. It's just these intricate burns that I really need a bit of help with sometimes. Let's see what this happens to be. Hopefully we get some really decent science back from this. If we don't, I'll be a bit upset. Something will happen like the craft will crash or something like that. That always seems to happen. Oh no, it's actually not a bad estimation actually because it's dropping down. Actually, eh. can't see that being five seconds. No, it's not. So I mean, it's it kind of the estimated burns and stuff just don't seem to work, and it really catches you off guard. Because if I'd done as if it was going to be an estimated five second burn, basically I would have been completely off. I would have been off shot, and yeah, it would just be a pain in the ass. See much fuel we've got left. Plenty here. We've got another tank though. We've got another fuel tank here, so we can make corrections with that if we need to. So this is why I like Matt Jeb because it solves these issues of the game trying to screw you over a little bit sometimes. Not to try to screw you over, but some of the uh, readings and stuff just don't make sense. But anyway, let's get our let's get our Jeb home. That's all we want to do right now. Right, there we go. Right, so let's um, let's get ourselves right back, because I don't want to keep lapping around. Um, I, I'm not told you about the other... Sorry, I, I'll, I'll do that on the end of the video. Basically, the um, the Polar Orbit satellite that I had last time, it's a, it's a bit different actually. I completely destroyed the other one, I blew it up. Because um, basically there's a thing on... You can either control the craft or fly it or whatever, uh, or you can just completely destroy it. But you lose any carbons, and obviously it's just a satellite. So I've added um, a different one, and it's in a better orbit, um, but I'll show you that in the next video. So this would actually get us back into orbit eventually, but we want to get back now. So we're going to fly directly into the planet. I want to do an F5 as well. F5 save. This should get us back now. I'll do this maneuver myself. Don't always need Metjeb to do it. It just becomes easier to to be honest. Oh, jeez. This is going to change now. I'm actually coming in, I think. One second. Oh, laggy. Will I make it over the hills and stuff? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not actually sure if I'm actually going to land here or not. Definitely getting down into the atmosphere to slow us down, but... Oh! There's a lot of spin. Nope, we're going back out again. Just wait for this to go around. Take a while. I'll, in fact, do you know what? I'll just jump cut this bit as well because this is going to take a while to get back down. Okay, so I'll see you in two secs. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so I'm trying to land for this section of ocean here. It's been a bit of messing around. I just have to get rid of the back part of the rocket, which is there now. We should land back on Kerbin. Which is what we want. I'm um, not sure how this land is going to go. It's a um, time warp. Oh, might end up on land here. It's not the end of the world, but it's something I'd rather not do. Oh, got some lag. Let's turn ourselves about face. Oop. Tracks the solar panels. Oh, 
I really want to slow ourselves down because we're coming in very, very fast. We may end up losing part of the craft if we do this. Got some legs if we need to. Come on, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Please, 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 please. Slow, 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 slow. I should have used the rockets actually to actually slow ourselves down. Got a bad feeling about this. A really bad feeling about this. That it might tear itself apart. Definitely gonna land on land at this point. It's got a really bad feeling now that craft's gonna tear itself apart. Can we do anything whilst we're up here? Can we get some more signs maybe? Crew port, maybe. Um crew data. Temperature. Um Q data. Do radiation sensor thing. Yep, Q data. Um this kind of spay thing. Keep the data anyway. I haven't got anything to lose at this point. Science go. Nope. I get the feeling I'm gonna fall over here. Bad, 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 feeling about this. Come on, please, 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 please. Here we go, moment of truce. Oh, too shabby. And the ground doesn't look too bad there, as long as we don't land on that hill bit there. Um, that's all good. Take a photo. Um, yeah, keep data. Take another photo from this side. Take a photo. Take a photo. Let's keep data. Um, can't think of anything else we can do. Um, can't do any these anymore for some reason. Can we do one of those? Nope. Can't do a radio wave thing in a jig. Um, we do another. Radiation thing? No, cancel. I think we're um at our limit of stuffs. Five point two meters a second is not bad at all. As long as we can stay upright. How you doing Jeb? You're the king. You've been in deep space now. Well, deepish, according to Kerbal. Let's just get you back stood up. So I might have to use talk. The legs can take up to 10 meters per second, so we should be okay. Sweet! Got back. Let's uh, just extend the ladder. Extend this ladder. Actually, should we bother doing this? Um, do we need EVA anyway, bud? EVA report, nothing. Let's just get it back and back. I just want to get the craft back now, actually, to be fair. Uh, we'll do um, a seismic thing. Oh, six seconds. What would you do? Uh, let's see what we got, anyway. View the science. <sighs> we sent quite a lot back, actually, on transmission, so we should that should be included. What we've already got. Wow! We've got 542.6 signs we brought back with us, but we've now got 1,456 signs. Ooh, ha, ha. Well worth doing. Well worth doing. Because the thing I really want to unlock um, is this. Because that allows me to get docking assistance. So, definitely going to get that. Um, but in the next episode, um, I'm not going to do it all now, uh, but the next episode, obviously I'll show you what we've got and what we can do next. Oh, this is going to be so cool. 
Um, we can do trips to the other moons, uh, sorry, the planets and the sun and stuff like that. Yeah, it's going to be cool. So thank you so much for watching as always. I do apologise about the breaks between the, like, the science videos because obviously the files became corrupt. I couldn't do anything about it. I'm so annoyed with like how it happened. But literally about over two or three days, I tried and tried and tried to keep re like rendering the videos. And I used Vegas Pro 11, and I used Vegas Pro 12, I used... Um, you know, Adobe, um, Premiere Pro and stuff like that, it's just nothing worked. So, unfortunately, hopefully this bloody video actually gets rendered. If it doesn't, then I'm just going to cry myself to sleep tonight. Uh, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching as always. Uh, please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video, guys. So take care of each other, and goodbye.